Sage here for Calkine Media. Please subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon, you'll be notified of our latest videos. And in today's educational series, we're covering what is vertical farming. With the ever-growing population, there is a rapid growth in the demand for agricultural products and over 50% of basic human needs, such as food, clothes and medicines, are sourced from the agricultural sector. Given the rise in demand, experts have been continuously looking for means to increase productivity using various farming techniques. And one of such techniques includes growing crops indoors under a controlled environment, including regulated light and temperature levels. The objective of this technique, vertical farming, is to increase productivity within a limited space. So vertical farming is a soil-less technique and the different methods of conducting vertical farming are hydroponics, aquaponics and aeroponics. Compared to other traditional ways of farming, vertical farming utilises less water and pesticides. And furthermore, as the crops are grown indoors and are thus not subject to seasonal changes, one can witness a significant increase in productivity. So why do we need vertical farming? Vertical farming techniques support increases in the productivity of crops to meet the growing demand of the people and some of the key reasons why there is a need to adopt the vertical farming techniques are highlighted below. Rising population. The human race is growing at a rapid pace and as a result there is an upsurge in the demand for food items. Looking at this data, experts introduced the vertical farming technique to ensure there is adequate food supply to each individual. Scarcity of resources. Plants require soil, water and light to grow, however, due to the lack of resources it becomes challenging to meet the growing demand for food and these factors influence the need for farming techniques that can meet the demand despite the scarcity of resources. Environmental threats. There is a considerable likelihood that crops grown using traditional farming practices are impacted by natural calamities such as drought, flood, hailstorms, torrential rains, etc. In such a scenario, farmers as well as consumers bear the brunt and these challenges lead to experts looking for innovative and more productive ways, giving rise to the vertical farming technique where crops are grown under artificial conditions in a closed environment. Techniques of vertical farming. Vertical farming is done using three techniques mainly. These include hydroponics, aeroponics and aquaponics. Let's take a closer look at hydroponics. In this method, food is grown in water with the help of mineral nutrient solutions without any soil. The advantage of using this method is that it reduces soil related cultivation problems such as pests, soil borne insects and diseases. Aquaponics. The term aquaponics is derived from two words, aquaculture and hydroponics. In this technique, the plant is grown without soil to give a symbiotic relationship between plants and fish. And the symbiosis is achieved via nutrient rich waste from fish tanks that serve as fertigate to hydroponic production beds. And in return, hydroponic beds function as biofitters that eliminates gases, acids, chemicals like ammonia, nitrate, phosphate, etc. Aeroponics. NASA initiated the technique to grow plants in space during the 1990s. And in this technique, there is no source to grow crops. And in this, the crops are grown using mist or nutrient solutions instead of water. Also, plants are tied to support and roots are sprayed with nutrient solutions. Thus, plants need less space, water and absolutely no soil. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of vertical farming? While vertical farming has significant advantages over the traditional method, the modern technique also has its fair share of drawbacks. So let's now take a look at the significant advantages and disadvantages of adopting this technique. 
Beginning with the advantages. The first advantage of growing crops through vertical farming is that each area is fully utilised in producing food. And another significant advantage of growing crops through vertical farming is that the crops can be made available to the people even during the off-season period. So vertical farming also reduces transportation costs to a significant level and vertical farming does not require soil, hence reduces the chance of pest or any other plant disease. The crops are free from pesticides and air pollution. Disadvantages. Vertical farming involves considerable farming costs. The setup, expenditure to create an artificial environment is considerably high compared to traditional means of farming which require natural light. To grow crops using vertical farming techniques need trained and skilled people. It is also essential to dispose of the water properly in this form of farming. In vertical farming there is a need for an LED light to generate optimum temperature during cultivation. However, this becomes challenging during the summer season in maintaining the temperature as LED produces heat within the premises. Thanks for joining us on that report. If you like the information, please like, share and comment on the video below. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Just press the bell icon. You'll be notified of our latest videos. And for more information and regular updates, please head to the website, calkinemedia.com. Stay here for Calkine Media.